Hello, I'm Steve Wheeler with EZG Manufacturing, and now I want to show you our latest uh, wireless control for our pump. We'll go ahead and turn the pump on. We'll hit pump engage. You hit your radio control, and now you're ready to use the remote. To use the remote, you'll pull up your e-stop or your stop button. You'll press your start key once, and then you're going to hold it down. There we go. So now you're ready to use the remote. And on this remote, you've got different functions. You do have your pump speed, forward reverse, turning your pump on and off, and you do have an RPM button if you need that. So now that you're ready to pump, you'll hit your pump on, you hit pump forward, and now you can start increasing the volume that your pump is, is pumping. Same thing, if you need to turn it off, it turns it off. Now once you turn this back on, it's gonna go right back to the same volume that you had. So you can decrease it, and same thing if you have a clog or a jam and you're done pumping, you can hit reverse. It goes to reverse and same thing, you hit your speed button and your speed comes on. Now for some reason, you automatically or accidentally hit your e-stop. When you go to turn it back on, there's a fault reset button. Once you hit your fault reset button, then you just do the same thing Hit your start button, hold it down for just a second, and now you're ready to start pumping again. Now some of you might have one of our older models, which looks like this. Uh, it's very simple, same thing, you've got your e-stop button here. Um, one thing we did change with these, so if the e-stop accidentally is hit or the grate is open from the ground, what you need to do is put your toggle switch back into neutral position and you're gonna go forward, reverse, forward, reverse, back to neutral, and that resets your system. So you no longer have to come down to the pump to get it started again. If you have any questions or need any more information, please visit us at ezgmfg.com.